Welcome to Out of the Rough. I'm Fred Arnold. And in this show, we're going to highlight opportunities and solutions to help get you out of the rough and into success, both personally and professionally. In these tough economic times, I'm going to provide you practical solutions to many of today's challenges. Today, I'm joined by Ed Bernstein again. Ed Bernstein, Biomixers, right? Right. 25 One score. of my many titles, yeah. founder. Welcome back to the show again. I have a question for you. Absolutely. What's going to happen? when we finally get our bump and these economic times aren't so challenging. Uh, we're going to have to change the do? title of the, the, yeah. But you thing. know what? Everyone's always going through a challenge of one life or trying to get over a hump, no matter what. Right. And that's the one thing I've learned is when things are going really good, sometimes you run into a bump. So you need the solutions of many great um, right. business people and entrepreneurs. And we got one now, Stephanie, right? Mm -hmm. Stephanie Cornthwaite. Cornthwaite. Yep, all right. And well, Stephanie is with um, Cornthwaite Consulting LLC, but really you Safety are a CPR stuff. expert. You will help people That's right. save their lives. Uh, I teach CPR and first aid to anyone in the community, to medical professionals, uh, and farther afield even. That's great. And, and the reason why I wanted to bring the two of you in is how you met. Our and connection. The power of because you're new to the community, and the power of 25 score or networking, how important that is. So, Ed, quick overview, because the, the lesson we want to learn right now is when you are new to a community, how do you grow your business? Well, I've been talking lately about, you know, we have little movements we start in the, the, the going to three things a week, uh, meeting three people you don't know, and doing that for three months will brand you in a community. I don't recommend it for people that are not likable, hire someone who is, because right. if you're not likable, you're branded as that unlikable guy that goes to everything. But uh, if you do that, you can't fail because you're going to engage with people if you meet three new people. And if you're looking to add value, we always lead in with what can I do for you? What are you trying to accomplish? Because we're, we're like the dealers at the poker table. We have a huge amount of chips. And we can play a lot of hands that don't necessarily pay out because we're abundant. And the whole out of the rough mentality, you want to get out of the rough, you think abundantly. You don't think, oh, what am I going to do? This is really bad. You go, how can I solve the problem for everyone else that's in the same place as me? And they can't wait to throw money at you once you've given them that help. So, Ed, tell me, how did you all meet? Um, I was at the chamber breakfast, which I try to go to every, every month. And um, she was sitting. I don't even know where she was sitting. She was at the other end of the room. And um, I own a company called Communication Planning Resources, and she has a CPR company. My tagline for 30 years has been, everyone should know CPR. And I said, you should steal my tagline because mm -hmm. it's important. And I was joking with her. I said, you should have your kids trained on CPR because the life you save may be your own. You know, you're investing in your own possibility of being revived. So we, we hit it off really well. And she became a merchant, and then she got involved with, you know, biomixers. Later on, as her business grew and she could reinvest in the things that were working for her. Uh, but, you know, a lot of our merchants are really good friends. They're over for the holidays. I mean, they inject themselves in that community, and it's very successful. She can tell you what happened. So, Stephanie, tell me about the three things that Ed told you to do or the three people to meet each week. Well, Ed really introduced me to the three people at three different events every for three months. And so I began doing that. Um, as Ed has said in the past, when someone gives you free advice, you take it and you run with it. Mm. And because I was so new to the community, um, and I like meeting friends, and that was one of my first reasons of going to the chamber meeting, mm. um, I went ahead and did that. And I've met a lot of very fantastic people in the community, and I've had the privilege of training them. Um, with CPR and first aid. It's interesting what you do is very specialized. And I know the Red Cross does it, some other big organizations do it. But you did it as an entrepreneur. You did it as your own business. Tell me about the events you would go to to meet individuals and kind of have that comfort level. And, and how did how did you approach that? How did it feel? Well, <laughs> I might be very outgoing, but I still get nervous in big crowds. So uh, going to the chamber was a little overwhelming until Ed came along mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's a kindred spirit. Come on in, this is easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and, and that's Jonas the way Ed is, and a lot of people at the chamber. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. And, yeah. and I really enjoy that about Santa Clarita. That, mm -hmm. that makes Santa Clarita a really welcoming place. Uh, I went to um, a bio meeting, and I am now, I think, what we call a bio baby. Yeah, so bio, I, me bio member. I've, I've joined um, by invitation only, and um, I'm happy to be with other like-minded entrepreneurs that are happy to give back. So, so let, let me ask you about the biomixers and, and Ed, if you could jump in here. Tell me about what is the biomixer? Well, biomixers is for the entrepreneur that may be staying back. 
uh, when, once you make enough money, people you end up be a target, they're going to sell you a house, they're going to sell you a mortgage, they're going to sell you insurance. And after a certain amount of time, you just say, I'm just tired of being peddled to. Mm -hmm. So this is a non-pitch zone. You have to be in business for over five years, which puts you, what, in the top 3% of people alive because most people fail by then. And you have to be abundant thinking and you have to be grateful. Now, if you think of those three things, you've been around for five years in business, you're abundant thinking and grateful, and it's not a non-pitch zone, all we do is talk about what we're grateful for, what challenges we're trying to overcome, and challenges that we still have. Mm -hmm. And since we've all stepped on a lot of different landmines, we just make sure we don't step on the same ones twice. And being humble is important. It's really important. Mm -hmm. Confidence learn, good, humble's good. Learning from each other. Yeah, be confidently humble. And, and it's humbling to be in a room it's not a big thing. We do five people a week, uh, three times a week. As we get more members, it will be four or five people at a meeting. It's an hour and a half, so it's an intimate, visceral, confidential conversation. And everyone that's been invited has gone there and says, oh my God, I have never been to a meeting like this. Yeah. And they're very drawn to do it. And it's not a long-term six months. If you want out, you stop. Mm -hmm. But you prepay for the six months. All you have to do is two bucks in your pocket and you get fed. Yeah. The tip. That's it. That's yeah. it, because nice. you paid, you paid you your dues for the yeah. six months. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the restaurants win, because now they have the best caliber people coming to their restaurant for the first time. They love the food, and more importantly, our anchoring of us. When we go to the chamber mixer and we meet Stephanie, mm -hmm. we now have a love for Stephanie and the chamber. Mm -hmm. When you go to a restaurant for this time, and I meet Fred Arnold for the first time, I remember the chair we sat in. I remember the food we ate. And it anchors them to good things happen here, and they will come back more often because it it makes it a place they want to be. And it makes it welcoming. Now you mentioned the chamber, mm -hmm. and you also mentioned um, the bio mixer. Mm -hmm. but you also mentioned just kind of hanging out with someone that knows other people, hanging out in their booth at charity events. Tell, tell me that experience. So I think the first event we did was the Burrito Bowl together. Yeah. The Burrito Bowl. And I uh, introduced Ed to little Annie, who Boy, who's is, Annie? Little Annie is, is um, the mannequin. She doesn't like being called a dummy. Um, and she's she's actually really sad. I need to tell you, Ed, that she's very she's disappointed that you haven't called her back. Yeah. Well, well, does does Marlene know about Annie? She does. Mar Mar Marlene, Marlene kind of was drawn to her too. Yeah. But you know, Annie was telling me that I was the first man that's ever looked her in the eyes and not in the, in that area. <laughs> compressions only, Ed. The compressions <laughs> only. So anyhow, cleaning this thing up. Uh, tell us about the burrito bowl. The burrito bowl and, and the experience. Uh, that was a great experience, and I was um, privileged to meet people that uh, managed that event, and hopefully we'll be helping them with a first yeah. aid. In She's going to be on staff this year, probably yeah. making sure if anybody chokes on a burrito that yeah. they get revived. Well, not only that, you're meeting <laughs> the burrito bowl is a, a, a bunch of uh, high school football players, right? Right. That raise money and mm -hmm. have a good time, and there's awards and everything. And I think it gets you into the school district. So you're able to open up, and th this is what this is all about: is network. Working, and how do you how do you take someone engaging Ed's knowledge uh -huh. and run with it and, and the ideas of expanding your business because you're new in the community right yes yeah. yes and now you have work I have abundant work yeah um, in addition to taking classes at COC for an EMT program I teach two three classes a week in Santa Clarita and I travel outside of Santa Clarita to train privately for students and I find my students really like the private training because they get the one-on-one -on -one practice and attention uh, as well as my small class sizes for the classes that I hold here. Fantastic. Now we're going to jump to a break in a minute and we're going to interview uh, mm -hmm. you on, on what you do. But Ed, real quickly, um, having coffee with somebody, no problem. You'll be happy to meet with them. And now, give I meet them with some anybody that's new to the community. Uh, it's pretty much, your, I get maybe five, six calls a week saying, when you're opening up, just go meet with Ed. It doesn't matter whether it fits yet. He'll tell you, I can usually save six, eight months worth of agony by saying steer clear of doing these things mm -hmm. and this, do the stuff that if you don't have money that you engage and just look to add value and you, you will always succeed. You can't fail, but you have to do the work mm -hmm. and you have to go to parties you don't want to go to. Yeah. That's Ed's value. Yeah. Encouraging you to go and meet new people and uh, telling you where to go uh, right. even when you have no money and you're just now, starting She's out. training it. We, all our merchants go together. And we, we try to place them. She's training in one of our new merchants' locations that yeah. wants to bring people in. So the and the first them. meeting there was like 35 people listening to Martha. Yeah. And then she's doing training there you know, twice At, a week. Yeah. Yeah. We have assistance. one on Friday for a Twitter training. Mm. So, Ed, that's what you're all about, helping people. And I wanted to bring you on when I was interviewing Stephanie because I wanted those out there to realize the value that you bring to the table of helping connect people. And that's what it's all about. Those that want to reach out to you, Ed? For Biomixers, uh, if you want to join Biomixers, it's not an open invitation, but if you think you fit, 
fill out an application at biomixers.com and call me, tell me you're doing it, and I'll let you know what it's about. Um, as far as getting hold of 25 score, everything is 661-25 score. 661-25 score. And or Facebook. Use Facebook. Add at 25 score.com? Add at 25 score.com. Great. Thanks for coming in. Well, stick around so oh, we can do a quick interview. Yeah. Sounds good. Thanks a lot. Uh, we're going to jump to a quick break, and we'll be right back.